Jojo has fun. Well, yeah. I'm going to stop scrolling down. Yep. Now, welcome <laughs> back to Jojo has fun. I uh, needed a moment. <laughs> so, nah, 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 nah. so here's a no. <laughs> Holly and I are equal partners in this in this business we've called our relationship. Really? Because she's worth so much more than you. Well, you know. And Holly would you win know, in a fight. You know, Kim, yeah. some people are, are in charge because they have more stock, and some people are in charge because they've been here since day one. Oh. You know? Wait. Oh, so seniority. wait. So you just, you just fucking hung I out long my, enough? I bought my way in, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you, I uh, bought my way in. Nepotism. Yeah. yeah. Am I right? It's not nepotism because Holly didn't provide me the stock. She I fought me you. tooth and nail. It was a hostile takeover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to fight my way to get half the bed, which I lose on a nightly basis. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. By the way, can I just ask, as people who all share a bed, do you ever just lay dead center in the middle of the bed while the other person is in it? Uh, I know. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I've been accused of that in, in the past. Yeah. Yes. Can I say that <laughs> at least once a night, I will turn to Holly, whom I love with all my heart, and say, you have got to move away from me. <laughs> what size bed do you have? Queen. Okay, we have a not queen as enough. well. Yes. Do you ever do that, Kim? No, I don't, because I'm not a monster. Uh -huh. Although, I do share a bed with someone who often yells at me because he stole the blankets. <laughs> He's like, all the blankets are on my side it's of the so bed. Now, why is it so hot? Now, here's uh, here's why that's a, a bullshit thing to yell. <laughs> you have That's something you have to do yourself. Yeah, he... Like he he's he's accusing me of like yeah he's accusing That's me of victim. like gaslighting. Oh, oh my god, Danielle, yeah. do it do whatever it is you do and help. Okay, uh, Mike, <laughs> <laughs> we need to talk about gaslighting, buddy. Yeah, and uh, you can't you can't Which try to gaslighting. It's not just for farts anymore. Exactly, you don't just light you just don't light your farts. No, you, you don't uh, just light your farts like you don't light your light your wife up like a like a fart. Like a fart. You, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's another thing that he does in bed. It's not cool. Oh, oh I yeah. get a lot of Dutch oven. Well, oh. that's just well, well, Kim, that's just fun. Yeah, that's that. If you can't Dutch oven the people you love, who can you Dutch oven? You know what? Strangers. Yourself. Well, yes, yourself, but there's no thrill there. Mm, thrill's gone. Yeah, you gotta have the thrill. It's, that's why, like, masturbating in your own bathroom. Who cares? Masturbating in a public bathroom. Yeah, well, now fair you got point. yourself a Wednesday. Now I understand. You know. Yeah. I uh. What? You, you didn't jerk off in my house yesterday, did you? What? <laughs> no. I've never jerked off in a friend's house. That's disappointing. I jerked really? off in a foe's house. <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, why, why did you have to make that? <laughs> not, a, not your house. It's okay. It's when not you go your house. Rachel. You rent, right? <laughs> <laughs> what if I had said that? Like, of course not. You rent. You rent. It's not your house. Yeah. You rent. It's the same. It would be hard for millennials to jerk off in other people's homes then because they don't yeah, own any we don't yeah, know yeah our friends don't own it jerk off in a lot of our friends parents houses yeah yes only only being able to jerk off at parent houses i mean the, the first time problem. you jerk off in a place you paid for uh, that's I, the I wouldn't know what that feels like that's the thrill mamma mia mamma mia <laughs> that's a spicy <laughs> jerk it off <laughs> mamma mia that's a, that's spicy. a lot of cheese <laughs> That's a lot to J.O. <laughs> it is uh, really good. Quick, give me, a, give me, give me a quick, uh, uh, it's a me, Mario. It's a me, Mario. <laughs> it's, a, it's actually like, it's not even really an accent. He's, he's Italian-American. He's been here, his family's been here for like four generations. But he only talks like that in the commercials for his plumbing business. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and it's then a it, me, Mario. And then they turn. I'm cleaning your pipes. Yeah. And then, yeah. After, and then after the commercial, he's like, I think that went okay. That oh. was a pretty good. Cool yeah, I think that you guys want to do another take, or I mean, I I I thought it felt good. Did anybody else need anything? Or? No, Mario, we got it. And he's like, "Cool, I'm gonna go up to my space mansion." Yeah. <laughs> on my on my. If you need me, I'm gonna be in my Hawaiian outfit. In my uh, interstellar balloon. Mario Odyssey. That's a dirigible. Yeah. They don't it's have a messy those. star. If it's interdimensional, it? okay. Dirigible. Why don't? Mom. They sit on TV there. That's a nightmare. What wow. was that? that? That is the stuff of nightmares. Yeah. Don't you kind of wish there was a way to write a blimp as just a matter of course? Yes. Like, oh, I got to get downtown. I could drive. 
I could take my bike, or we could blimp. We could blimp there. I could hop yeah. on the blimp. Yeah. Like there's a blimp system. Only yeah. if it's a hydrogen blimp. Bl- Bloober. I put my foot down on that. Bloober. Bloober. <laughs> yeah. Hydrogen Bloober. Bloober. It's like it's like Uber Black, but it's hydrogen. Let's do make a star four. And then you hop in. You hop in the back of your Bloober, and it and it flies up into the air very Buenos slowly. Dias. Have you ever been to Spain? It's our other homeland. We hope so. Like the king of the cosmos is like part Spanish. Okay. Yeah. All well, right. you can tell. I mean, can, come on, look can at you? Him. Yeah. Now I'm gonna predict that Jeff's making pigs in blanket. I can tell by the smell of butter and meat. Oh, you guys! Uh, major disappointment of the party yesterday. Uh oh. I had two pounds of pigs, and two rolls of blankets. So, nice. so Kim, oh, I, I, no. I, so y- yesterday in the oh. lore of our show, uh, Kim. Had a, a birthday party for some guy. Yeah, some dude. Who I haven't met yet. Met on the and anyway, um, at hospital. this party, uh, Holly and I uh, showed up, and, and Holly is good at cooking. And so she made uh, two massive crudite platters. Beautiful. Very beautiful. beautiful. And, and so big and amazing that Shannon, who is. Who cooks professionally was like, oh, these really? are really good. I like Shannon. Yeah. yeah. Everybody likes Shannon. And, and then and then we proceeded to like, over the course of the day, just Love eat it. all of the things. Now, before we got there, there was one plate of meats and some crackers. I would say a grand total of like 20 crackers and several pieces of meat. It's Spanakopita. It's Spanakopita. There was a Spanakopita, yes. And the cupcakes. And the cupcakes. Mm. Yeah, those were good. But if you looked at the table, there was like nothing there. So Kim, oh, uh, until later when Jeff and Danielle arrived with with sixty, 60 chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Yes. <laughs> so can I just ask Kim? Yeah. What What was the, your plan with food for your party that you only got as far as put some fucking crackers on the plate and that's it? Well, then also John and Teresa brought mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah like just... two hours later. Yeah. yeah. Which you didn't predict. No, I did know. I did know that they were bringing mac and cheese. Did you know they were going to be late? Yeah. Well, I. I didn't cross. know they were going to be late until that day. Uh, um. Uh, you but were then, like, I would have made. I was going to make really? pigs was. and blanket. That's a lie. That's a lie. We knew it. Danielle, but then I didn't. Don't you cross me, because I will be cross. I'm not going to bring it up, but uh, I can tell when you're lying. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Am I lying right now? Like a rug. See, Tim can tell too. <laughs> What else lies? You blankets. Shut up. Lying like a... I was going to say rug again. (laughs) Lying like a rug. Oh, damn it. I mean, lying like a rug. Damn it. (laughs) Again. What else lies? Lions? Lying like a... Lion. 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 Well, that's just... Oh, God. (laughs) Is that a synonym? Uh, It took you a minute. No, it's a homonym. It's a It's a homonym. Sure it's, is. Uh, it sounds the same. It's a homily. Not a homily, Jeff. It is a homily. Now, you know it, now oh, hominy. Oh, I was going to say some hominy. Oh, yeah, yeah, delicious. Yeah, sure. mm. With a little butter and salt and tamarind. I could go for that. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, and tamarind. Put it in some oh. soup. Mm. I went to a, a place that serves snow desserts. Oh, oh the oh, vampire, vampire penguin. penguin. I love vampire oh, we, we didn't go. We didn't go afterwards Gotta after the party, but went to vampire penguin. And can I just say, snow desserts? Scrumptious. It doesn't seem like it would be because, you know, it's just ice, right? You're just eating ice. So the thing about it is it tastes really good, but <laughs> you don't feel like you ate anything. Oh, That's sweet. dangerous. Yeah. So we ate one. We Holly and I ate one apiece. It's just shaved ice, you guys. I know. But it's more, so much more, Kim. Like that makes it sound like it's a lowly plebeian snow yeah, cone. Yeah, that's reductive. Yeah, you know. Fuck, give it, give it the credit it deserves. Yeah. You monster. Strap on your theoretical big girl pants and give it some credit. Strap on my theoretical yeah. strap on. Allow yeah, me to, you're allow real me, big listen, one. Listen, I cover my labia one at a time like the next guy. And I want to say that Vampire Penguin is more than just a snow cone. Okay? It's a Vampire labia penguin. strap and a cone. I got one with <laughs> mango ice cream and watermelon and like watermelon syrup. What if they served and it in a labia strap? And it tasted like Mexican candy. Mm. And it was called Mexican candy. Ooh. Ollie got one that I believe was a s'more. Ooh. It was like chocolate snow. Oh, We're man. all about that. Which isn't pee-pee, I found snow. out. 
chocolate snow. Or poop. Or it was poop a tuxedo. And, ho- and Holly's had strawberries, and it was just mm. super delicious. Mm. So if you have the chance to get a snow dessert, do it. It's yeah, not very it, fattening. It's only 140 oh, calories. Hell yeah. So you can eat like 10. You can. You can eat a six pack. At least oh, yeah. you can just sit back and pound that stuff. Yeah. After we ate it, I actually suggested let's have more. <laughs> let's have another one. <laughs> and Holly was like, "No, that's no." So that's that it's bad. Yeah. All right, you guys. Are you kidding, Kim? No, I'm not fucking kidding. Are you kidding? I'm kidding. Are you kidding me right now? Pee. You've got to be I fucking kidding me. Well, anyway, All right, we're uh, good. We're done. Thank you for joining us on Kalpamari Damashi. Um, we didn't intend to play this game very long, but unless you guys want to see like more, if like. I could totally see us playing this whole thing. Yeah. So let me know. Yeah, the, the background music's fantastic. Yeah, it's nice. It's a very pleasant game. So if you guys want to see us play more, let us know. Otherwise, we're going to play something else. Bye. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>